everybody, this is Chibi, and as you can probably tell, this is completely like, what the hell are you looking at right now? Yes, I am wearing a blue freaking wig, okay? So, let me go on to the concept of what I am doing. I wanted to make this video rather special and introduce something that is just downright messed up. It pretty much is me trying to cosplay into a blue wig and not really successfully cosplaying in anything. Right now I got freaking hair going on my freaking eyes, now I know how a female feels. But anyways, pretty much I will say that this video, I just want to talk with all of you and really say how much I really love all of you. I mean, this ain't a subscriber special, it ain't nothing like that. This is pretty much me just wanting to say how much I truly care for all of you in the community because I want to take a look back at what we've all accomplished in just two months on this channel. For one thing, in just two months, we've almost accumulated 600 subscribers. And I will say, this, this is unbelievable how much of you have came to my channel and just wanted to enjoy these videos, I want to say thank you. And the reason why I'm wearing this rig a wig is just to, see, I couldn't even speak properly, is to probably degrade myself and add something of entertainment value to all of me to see me wearing something as goofy as this. This is not going to be normally what you're going to see a lot, but I bought this wig pretty much just to, I guess, actually for a special video I wanted to make in the future, but I guess I should reveal this right now. Anyways, I want to talk about my future plans for this channel. For one thing, I want to do a 1,000 subscriber special, and a couple of people probably saw my comment by now on my last subscriber special and 500 subscriber special. I pretty much was talking about I was wanting to do a dance. And so, I was pretty much thinking about any dance I possibly could, and I got freaking hair all in my eyes. Pretty much any dance I could possibly do for a future 1,000 subscriber special. For one thing I want to be able to do is definitely the Bone Para Para dance in Dragon Ball GT. I'm not a fan of GT, I'm not. But I felt like that would be a very fitting dance for me of all people and for an anime reviewing channel. I think that would be funny. So I wanted to make a special video on that. And if all of you agreed and want to see something like this, let me know. I'll try to do this. But if you want me to do a different song, give me a link to a video or a different thing. And I will definitely look into it and see if I can possibly do it. But I have great plans for the Dragon Ball GT actual dance. You're going to get to see me, a person that can't dance actually try to dance so that's gonna probably be comedy in and of itself i might fall over myself and there'll definitely probably be some bloopers in it that will be freaking hilarious now i want to discuss some things since this channel is just talking to all of you just you know off anime discussion just having fun with all of you i want to say what do you feel about a q and a I feel since now we're over 500 subscribers now all of us have gained this far i felt like it'd be nice to do a nice just Q&A video series. I mean, I don't know if I'll be able to make this a scheduled thing or not, but I mean, if a lot of you, I noticed a lot of you ask me questions all the time. I mean, I get so many PMs and all sorts of stuff in each video, and this hair is getting in my eyes again, this wig. Holy crap. Pretty much, though, I will say that if you want to do a Q&A, let me know in the comments below, because I, I feel like it's time I finally start up that type of video on this channel to be able to get no to know more about all of you and you all get to know more about me. For instance, let's say uh, I, I get a bunch of comments uh, a lot actually like some people say I have like a uh, what's your favorite like food or something or you know what do you feel about YouTube and just anime in general. People ask me these questions all the time. I'm not going to joke. I actually get PMs like that. And so I felt like it would be very nice for this channel to actually do something like that. For instance, all your all of your burning questions you have for me, I think I want to accumulate that in like specific videos. Like for instance, in this video, if you want to do a Q and A, let me know in the comments below and post your question. Like you know, let's say uh, you wanted to ask me. Let's see, hmm, I don't know if there's much interesting you'd want to know about me. Like okay, when did I start watching anime? Okay, there there's one right there. You could go completely off topic and ask me like what kind of shoe size do I wear? I mean something like that. I mean. I'm willing to do something like this for you all to get to know the anime reviewer as me, and we get to grow more connected with each other. I feel like that's a lot better for these type of videos, and that's enough. I'm taking off this freaking wig. Holy crap, now you get to see this. And now my hair is probably messed up. Okay, so anyways, my hair is probably nice and beautiful. Yeah, this is the fashion. But anyways, let's put on this hat to uh, get the fashion back. Okay, anyways, back on topic. If you want to do a Q&A, let me know and post your question in below and it could be anything. I don't care what it is, just make sure it's not downright just messed up. But, I mean, I'll try to do that. Now, I also want to do a couple of uh, actual shout outs to just fellow community members. Now, once again, I want to state, if I don't mention your name, it's not because I hate you, dislike you, or nothing. It's just because there's just so many of you now, I cannot mention you all in one video. I'll literally be sitting here uh, for hours looking at my actual computer screen trying to figure out all the different names that you all have. For one thing, 
I'm going to say the certain people right here have been really supportive recently. Like Hetis. Uh, hopefully, I said your name correctly. Uh, Hetis. Hetis. Uh, I, I, once again, I am very sorry. It's H E T I S. Um, you've been a very supportive person. You always give me a nice, good, long freaking comment to be able to actually read and really enjoy your point of view of each anime episode. And honestly, I really enjoy comments like that because it just. It really allows me to actually see your viewpoint, and it feels like I'm watching another mini-review, honestly, or reading a mini-review. Another person I want to talk about is Nagisa. Nagisa-chan has definitely been one of those actual fellow community members that have also posted on a lot of my romance anime reviews. If it's a romance, I expect her to be there because I know she's always there, and I will say thank you once again for really just being a very supportive person to this channel. And then let's talk about someone else. Let's see, Mark. Mark is another fellow community member that is actually has his own little channel. He likes doing little news reports on anime and otaku news. He he gives me my news articles quite a bit. He, I mean, he's the one that gave me pupa news, fate slash stay not reviews. Oh, I shouldn't say slash. A lot of people don't like that. Uh, a lot of people just give me all sorts of different you know stuff, but Mark is definitely one of those few people that keep me up to date with anime, and I want to say thank you to him. He's a very nice guy, and I feel like I wouldn't know as much information as I do about anime without him. But it's not just Mark. It's Everybody, all of you give me information that make this channel go in the right direction. And this is like a type of just a family. We're all like family together, making this channel grow together. That is what I really, that is my goal with this channel. It really is. I mean, my goal is just to have a section on the anime community or taku culture to be able to come, have a laugh, have an honest opinion about a certain show or episode. For instance, if you hated an episode... Let it know. I mean, don't feel bad to post if you hate the series and if I like it. I enjoy diverse comments. I really do. I love seeing other people's opinions and what they feel about the show and just breaking it down. And you should never feel upset to actually have a different opinion from someone. You should be able to post that without being flamed. And I feel like that's what I want to actually grow in this community. And that's what I feel I want to achieve. And so far, we're doing a really great job of it. I see a lot of active members in this channel and the community and getting to see how everybody's support each other posts to have replies to other people and I try my best to actually reply to all of you and give you honest feedback on what I feel too and so honestly I love all of you for that you all once again are my inspiration and I want to thank you all for everything you've done for this channel it's not just me that puts up the videos and me talking about anime it's all of you that continues for me to strive to achieve to be better and that is something that makes me so warm in the heart this is like uh, my just happiness of the day. And, I mean, you don't realize how much time I really try to work on these anime reviews. And I love doing it so much. Just knowing, I even if I got one comment on a video, just one comment or even a thumbs up. You don't know how happy that makes me when I see that on a video. I'm like... I, I just feel so much better for some reason. I don't know. I could be... I, I could stub my toe and break my toe in half. I, hopefully that doesn't happen. But let's say I break my toe. I mean, I see a couple of good comments that just, you know, have diverse, uh, diverse opinions and just talking about the episode where someone just says, great review. It makes me... It, it makes me feel very happy. It really does. And so, I want to say thank you to everyone that does stuff like this. Even if you don't comment, I, I, I want to say, though, even your likes and thumbs up and just watching the video... Just watching the video, that makes me happy. The video's being watched. That is something I am happy about. I mean, I'm not one of those type of people that really just, you know, want to be the biggest person on YouTube. I'm not like that. It's just, I, I, I love it to be able to have a nice, good community that can come together and be nice to each other. That's always been my main central goal. And if you've been with me for a very long time, you should know about that by now. And I feel like this video should have been done a lot sooner, but I felt like... I think now is the perfect time since we're reaching almost 600 subscribers. So I guess this could kind of be the 600 subscriber special video. But I felt like I just wanted to make this a central vlog and just talking to all of you. Now, I want to get into some actual manga discussion. For one thing, if you haven't realized right here, I got a new set of manga. For one thing, I got... Uh, I, actually, I wanted to make a manga unboxing on this, but let, let's be honest here. I opened up the box, I was recording it. And literally, it didn't record my video. It really didn't. So I lost over about 20 minutes of footage of doing an unboxing. You don't even want to know how much rage intent I was. And so I didn't get to do it. And it ruined the entire surprise. So anyways, I got Shaman King, volumes 1 through 32, all the way to the bottom shelf. And literally, you're going to probably be shocked. Like, holy crap, Chibi, how much did that cost you? Uh, I can't even run the shelf right now. Pretty much how much did that cost me? I want to be honest with you. 
I got it for $50. Yes, I got the entire Shaman King collection in pretty decent actual condition manga for $50. That, that's, oh yeah, no shipping, free shipping. So, that is incredibly shocking, and I will say I am happy to pick up the series. Yes, I'm only on Volume 1 still. I haven't really read past Volume 1, but I will say, good series so far, what I've read of it, and I, I can't wait to find out what happens. I mean, I really love the art style of it. It feels like an oldie type manga, like in the in Yasha Dragon Ball Z days, but I feel like it's actually a really good read. I recommend go reading this if you want some series like this. It's a show and jump manga if you're into showing, so I recommend that. Another series I haven't really talked about is Bakuman. I, actually, I talked about it in a couple of my reviews, but I felt that I need to make an actual manga review on Bakuman. It is such an epic series, and it's changed my entire aspect and outlook on manga. If you want me to do an actual manga review on that, let me know. I finally finished it about four or five days ago, and I've been itching to actually talk about it, but I don't know if a lot of you would like that. But let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a Bakuman manga review. Um, another thing, let's see here, another couple manga pickups I haven't showed with all of you is Watamote Volume 2. Oh, Watamote. I love Watamote so much, and you know how I feel about it, how Kuroki, I can just get really in depth with her character and understand her character. She's just such an adorable, adorable girl in the series. Um, let's see here, um, you all know pretty much, that's all the stuff I really have updated besides, oh yes, there's one series I've been needing to share with you. I know a lot of you are going to probably flame me for this one. A lot. And I'm not probably in a good way either. But I mean, I'm prepared to take it. I'm prepared. Please don't crush my heart, please. I got the 1 through 10 Japanese edition of Kiss X Sis. Yeah. So, uh. It's a fan service. You, you probably all know what this is. I mean, if you're into fan service, harems, or love triangle crap, you probably know what this is. I kind of feel embarrassed even holding this in my hand. But the reason why I got it, I want to be honest with all of you, the reason why I got this series is because someone was selling volumes 1 through 10 Japanese edition that were, like, holographic. You can see the holographic on that. For only, only 20 freaking dollars from Japan. And free shipping. I was like, oh my god, I am getting that. So, yeah, I'm a manga sucker. I picked it up even though I know what it is. So, anyways, that's why I got Kiss X Sis and this is an update on that. And now you know I'm probably a pervert. Um, another thing, pretty much, uh, what I feel though, uh, any manga recommendations I think you should all read while I've been reading recently, is definitely Love in Hell. This series, damn good. Just highly underrated series that needs more attention. It's only going to be three volumes long. The third volume ain't out yet. But this series, damn, it is good. It is a really good series. I mean, it has a darker atmosphere about it for a manga series. And I recommend actually reading this. Love and Hell, it's a really good manga. Um, another series I currently am reading in here. Let's see here. I'm trying to find it. Um, I don't see it. Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Here it is. Missions of Love. Ah, you know how I feel about romance, everybody. I don't need to even go into that entire topic. Another romance. It kind of looks like a love triangle. Yes, there's a love triangle. Okay, that's obvious. But it's so awesome how the romance is handled in this series. I don't want to spoil nothing, so I'm not going to go into major details. But if you want a good manga read that's adorable... I recommend this. It's a really good romance to read. I think it's what called Watashi X Shinai, I think it's called. I, I don't know the exact Japanese translation, so I'm sorry about that. Don't blame me on that one. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've been reading recently. Tell me your thoughts on this video, and if you want to see any more, you know, chibi vlogs, let me know. And if you want to see any more antics with me in this freaking wig, let me know also. It's probably terrible. I'll probably look freaking awful in it. But you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. And once again, everybody, thank you. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Chibi out.